When we were dealing with what's probably the most significantly contaminated site in the state of New Jersey, if not around the country, it's been 125 years in the making. It's been litigated for the past 10 years relative to the state being reimbursed for the natural habitat that was destroyed. And to settle that for $225 million, especially when there was $9 billion put forward in damages after a two-month trial, inherently is suspect. We did the right thing. We looked at trial transcripts, we looked at expert reports, we retained expert counsel to take a look at the whole process. And our final conclusion is beyond the merits of that settlement to start with, when you throw in 16 additional contaminated sites, 1,800 sites around the state that Exxon will now be indemnified for relative to their service stations, it's not the right thing for the taxpayer, for the citizens of the state. So we will let the judge know through our thoughtful evaluation that very strongly held opinion as a body and hopefully he'll take it into account in rejecting the settlement. This legislature that represents the people of the state has now spoken, but the power of the people means more than anything. If you're concerned about this environmental inequity, about doing the right thing by the citizens of the state for the next generation, get in touch with the DEP. Let them know that your opinion is that this settlement should be rejected.